Hello, Helmut Flash here, practice management consultant for over 30 years, and I'm here to help dentists and doctors to basically have a life, make enough money, and still have enough time and freedom. That is extremely important, very, very important. One doesn't have to slave and be a slave to the practice. But let's talk about it. The political and the economical situation, what is happening now? Let me tell you something which a person called Peter Trucker, if you want to like check him out in one of his many books and, and stuff. He was an economist. He was a business consultant. I think he consulted General Motor a long time ago. Um, he's dead, by the way. So in any case, he wrote a chapter called predicting or seeing the future, which already happened. You see, I cannot see the future just like most of you or none of you can and nobody else can. But here's what you can say. You can nevertheless on certain things predict the future. For instance, let's go to the healthcare. If a young 14, 15 year old person, a boy, a girl, eats candy for breakfast, drinks Coca-Cola for lunch and uh, five kilo of potato chips for dinner, doesn't exercise much, doesn't move around much, doesn't walk much, watches the YouTube uh, or the whatever it is till late at night, basically doesn't even sleep very much, is already way overweight and already has markers in blood pressure and etc., which are definitely not good for his age. You as a doctor can predict a future which already happened. You see what I'm saying? This guy's future has already happened. Will you be able to say that he lives till 40, 50, 60, or only till 20? No, you won't be able to do that. And, um, uh, but you will know his lifestyle. Do you understand what I'm saying? So what is currently happening? Let me tell you, a predict the future which happened, which already happened to many, many doctors out there. And maybe and hopefully not to you, especially not if you come on board, because this is also a marketing video. I want to sell you something because just like a dentist who sees a patient who needs a uh, burial surgery, the guy can understand everything about burial surgery. If he doesn't sit in that chair and gets your surgery, he won't be helped. It's again a future which already happened. All right, period and end of discussion. So let me tell you about a future which already happened for most doctors. Now that the economical situation is like, well, questionable at least, uh, and there's nothing we can do about it. Wouldn't matter what the election in two years for a new president is going to bring. It just doesn't matter. Not for nothing, Mr. Mark Twain. If voting would influence something, they wouldn't let us vote. So obviously nothing's going to change. Nothing we can change. However, here's what will happen because of it, because of this trauma we're currently having, because of these difficulties we probably, most of us go through. Most dentists and doctors will cut down on personnel. They will cut down on uh, hours. They will cut down on marketing. And hopefully they will not cut down too much on certain quality things needed for dental practicing. But they'll cut down on those marketings. Most of them will. And this is the door opening for you not to cut down to increase it. However, you know, increasing something which doesn't work uh, isn't good. You know how they say that practice makes perfect? Well, not really. Practice makes you only very, very, very good at the way you already do it. So if you do it wrong, practice is just going to make it, well, you're going to get much better at doing it wrong. So if you now marketing with not the right results, then more money will just, well, put more money under the table. And if it is, nevertheless uh, functionable to a degree, then yes, that alone will work too. Okay, I'm here to help you with this. Let me tell you something. It has. It is never easier to stick out for a small business owner, probably for big ones also, to actually make it, make it big, make it wonderful, like go over that hump, go over that hurdle. If the basic thing goes down, you know how they say a diet rises all boats? Well, maybe in, on a lake and on an ocean, that is possible. Uh, that is true, perhaps. And, uh, you know, versa versa, if the whole thing goes down, all boats go down. Well, maybe in, a, in the ocean, that is so. But it is not so in economics. In economics, usually the people who do the right thing when everyone else clamps down is the one who wins. Let me tell you something. Warren Buffett, he says, when there is blood in the street, that's when you buy. Maybe it was Rockefeller who said that. It doesn't really matter. This is what it is. You know, when other people save, you need to spend. When other people spend like crazy, you go and save. 
And right now, people are cutting back. You can already see it, Facebook and YouTube and all of them, they're having less marketing revenue. And you may say, well, everybody does it. Yeah, follow everybody. How well has that worked for most people in a whole life? 95% of people are broke, dead or dead broke at the age of 65. We have thousands of doctors working till 70 and longer in this um, country. Not so much because they love it. Some, yes purely loving it, but most of them know simply because they have to. Don't be part of that crowd. And let me tell you something. When I started in 1990, it was about, I don't know if it was the same, but there was economically normal. There is a economically normal every five to 10 years, somehow. Regional, not so regional, it doesn't really matter. And we succeeded despite the turn down in the economy with those doctors. We succeeded because of it. Do you understand, doctor? Give us a call. Let's talk an hour. And maybe changes are high that you and the majority of people who do not sign up with us. But let me tell you something. You will still be in a high majority of people who will love it. You'll still be there who will say, uh -huh, I learned something. This still will hang with you for a long, long time. And because of it, you will see a little bit things, some, uh, uh, you know, different. Some type of education is always good in that area. And yeah, sometimes we need days, weeks, and months and years to sleep over it and to kind of like to sink in um, a certain like, oh my God, I heard that a long time ago. Why didn't I act on it? Fine. Okay, whatever. Give us a call. Talk to me. You will love it. And perhaps even, you know, take that treatment, which like with a Barry Donald treatment, without it, it's just not going that way. Okay, keep in mind. Okay, you cannot use the thinking you're currently using, which has put you into the little bit overworked and underpaid, if, if that's where you are, if not, fine, but um, situation, okay, you cannot use that thinking, you cannot use the, so to say, common thinking, it's, I love it when I hear, well, that's common thinking, that's everybody knows, yeah, right, everybody who's broke or dead, broke at 65, give us a call, bye-bye.